What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and I think this is going to be a really interesting video. I'm very curious to see how it turns out. I am finally, 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 finally assembling my half letter disc bound systemed planner. Before I get into the assembly, let me explain what I'm doing, why, and compare some planner sizes because I think that might help a little bit. So I am for my catch-all, like my everyday life, everyday planning, and for decorative planning, I am a happy planner, classic-sized user, predominantly. And I'm a Franken planner, so I use pretty much all of the layouts. You'll see me uh, mix and match from time to time. So I'm a happy planner, classic user for almost every area of my life. However, I have been using that classic size for social media, for EJ Joyful Plans, kind of entrepreneurial side business stuff and it's been too big for me so just to give you an example this uh was my social media planner okay it's a classic size it is on a jane's agenda cover which i cannot toot the horn enough of jane um i really love her deluxe covers i'll link them down below but this this has been gorgeous and wonderful to work with, but it's just too big, okay? So the classic Happy Planner size for social media and business stuff is just too much for me. And so I was like, I wanna get into something smaller. So the smaller option for the Happy Planner is a mini. So here is a mini. This is just a mini I use for holding stickers, but you can see um, this is the size difference between the mini and the classic. So the classic has nine discs, the mini has seven. And in looking at this, I'm like, there's gotta be something in between, a size in between. Can we get like an eight disc uh, planner up in here for specifically like my business planner? I would love that so much, thank you. But the Happy Planner doesn't make that. And so I've been looking around trying to figure out how can I find something between a Happy Planner mini and a Happy Planner classic for this like niche area of my life. And the half letter disc bound seems like the best option. Enter the half letter disc bound. This is eight discs <clears throat> instead of nine. And you can see how, I'll try to align these. You can see how these compare. So we've got the classic, the half letter, or it's also called a junior disc bound, and then the happy planner mini. And so that has kind of forced me to look at other shops for this specific size. I do need to give a uh, honorable mention to the Happy Planner though for the new organized line. This is exclusive to Walmart. It's a twin loop. It's a thinner, is it a thinner? Maybe just because it's smaller, but it's the same twin loop style as my baby journal that I love so much. Um, this has been, so while transitioning into the half letter disc bound, I started using this guy. This is a vertical organized planner from the happy planner I, I can't show it to you because well, I can jump ahead let me move this stuff out of the way I can jump ahead uh, and just show you what this looks like so you've got your monthly and then your vertical pages I have been using this for about a month now for social media and I love it so much mostly because of the size and if you look at it um it is you know, kind of in that sweet spot. Uh, I mean, it's definitely, now this cover is, <clears throat> excuse me, extends a little bit wider than the pages that would fit in here. So you kind of have to ignore that. But the organized, the small organized planner from the Happy Planner is the closest you're gonna get to a half letter. So I've really been loving using this because it has shown me that the size is perfect. It's so nice to have on my side of the bed when I just wanna write something down or I write down everything that I posted or the video that went live that day, like how it did. You know, I have this on the side of the bed and I'll be able to, you know, write something down and it's just nice and compact. And so I've really loved this size. What I don't love about it in the long run for me as a serious planner is it's not disc bound, which means I can't add to it. I can't change out the pages. And so this was only gonna take me so far I think I'll keep using it. I wish I could show you guys how I've been using it, but it, it really does have um, some confidential information in there. But 
this has been such a great like workbook almost for brain dumping and just pen and ink like or a pen is ink you guys know what I mean just keeping pen to paper this has been great it's the paper is thinner so you don't want to stack you know tons and tons of stickers on it because it'll fill up the twin loop and you also don't want to use really like luxe pens with it either because the paper is thinner and it's going to bleed through. But as a workhorse for brain dumping, I have really loved this. And I'm glad the Happy Planner did it. I wish that they would come out with a disc bound planner with eight discs. That would be a game changer for me because this is all that they have uh, in the closest size to what I'm looking for. I am switching over to an assembly of uh, different shops. Um, half letter size. So that is the long of it. Let's actually get into this, the assembly. So the cover that I've chosen is this Jane's Agenda cover. I have this cover in black in the mini, Happy Planner mini. I have it in this dovetail gray in the half letter. And then of course y'all have seen this nice kind of cognac color. I love this. I love her covers. They're excellent. And so I like, I just like hard covers. Big fan of these. So I have discs here, so I have to decide if I want to go with black or rose gold. I, I'm i kind of on the fence. I think the rose gold would be really pretty, um, but the black would be really professional. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with black for now. At some point, I might change it to the rose gold, but we'll see. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discs. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. I wasn't gonna show you guys me popping these on, but just I'm thinking it might be helpful to see how easy it is. So these are Happy Planner, kind of their O-ring discs, and they do fit on Jane's Agenda stuff. So I'm really going to hodgepodge a bunch of different brands to assemble this half letter. So we have our discs on. Now we need to get to the meat and potatoes. So over the course of the last two months, I have collected for lack of a better word um inserts and various decorative items some of them i've paid for and then some of them came from my friend maya from science of planning over on instagram she sent me a package of half letter stuff that she had that she wasn't using and so grateful for her because i could kind of see different like aesthetics and i could i could uh feel different types of paper and stuff like that so in this disc bound situation, I put all of the kind of decorative elements for the half letter, including dividers. And then in this one over here, I have all of my different types of fill paper, calendar pages, all that kind of stuff. And it's predominantly Jane's Agenda and cloth and paper. For the uh, more decorative stuff, it's mostly Jane's agenda. Cloth and paper is very clean and minimal and that can be really nice. Jane's agenda takes that element but like softens it a little bit. I guess that's the best way I can say. When you look at her how she does her vellums and her layering uh, it's just like you wouldn't see something like this from cloth and paper and it's just very <clears throat> excuse me very I don't know it's very pretty like this kind of color uh, for layering. I just, I love it so much. So let's not get distracted though. This planner needs a few things. It needs calendar pages. It needs a lot of note pages. I wanna have a finance page or a finance section and I wanna have like a content planning section. Let's start with the monthlies that I'm choosing. I'm gonna be going with the Jane's Agenda monthly for this planner. You have your month at a glance, your priorities, your bill information, and then you have a line for each day of the month. I like seeing spreads, kind of. I like seeing layouts in a two-page spread. So I'm gonna use the project and task pages that are meant for the previous month. I'm gonna use them for this month, for the month of October. Then when you open it, you get your full month at a glance. My plan for this is to put in my content, this is my content calendar. So when I'm posting a YouTube video or an Instagram reel or picture, um, I'm gonna put it in here so I can see in one shot an overview of my content for the month. And then you flip to the next page. Again, this is supposed to be 
for the previous month, but I'm going to apply it to uh, the month that's upcoming. So I can put all of my content that I need to make for the course of November here, and then I can see everything all at a glance. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, uh, let's go through the end of the year. Let's go to December, because I don't know how much space I'm gonna have. And yeah, we'll do that. So I'm gonna grab October to December. Then as far as weeklies go, I'm gonna jump from Jane's agenda to, so I can just show you, there's so many inserts in here, all different kinds of inserts. Most of these came from uh, subscription boxes from Jane's agenda and from cloth and paper. But I did purchase, if I can find them, yes, the Hobonichi style weekly from cloth and paper. So this is an undated weekly Monday start. And I really like the Hobonichi style because I can just, anything I need to write down, I can write down. If I wanna decorate this with stickers, I can. And then over here, I can put my content, I can put my um, follower and subscriber counts for each day. Anything I wanna track daily, I can put here. So I'm going to take, uh, how many weeks? I think this set came with like 15 weeks. Maybe I take the whole thing. Let's take the whole thing, because this will get me through I mean, get me pretty close to December. So we have the monthly and the undated weekly. I do have daily pages from Jane's Agenda, but I'm not going to add those yet because I don't think I'm gonna need them until after the baby's born. So we're gonna hold off on that. This whole section now is kind of my calendar section, okay? So I'm going to move my inserts out of the way, come to my decorative guy and then figure out what dividers I want to use. Maybe I'll pop them in now. So I have this today one and then I've got these kind of top tab guys and then I have these. So the top tabs, these were from cloth and paper. The side tabs for all of the months, these are from Jane's Agenda. This today ruler, which I kind of like, is from Poi and Hun. And I'm kind of tempted to use the Today Ruler. So I'm going to pop the Today Ruler in to, I'm gonna pop this in here. So today will be marking my current week, okay? So, and then overview, calendar, content notes. I know I'm gonna have uh, content related pages and I know I'm gonna have note pages. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and we'll go after the calendar pages. So this section is calendar pages, then content, and then my notes. And I just wanna see, yeah, these aren't gonna be too close to each other. So today, content notes. For the content section, I have all kinds of um, fun like project pages that came from, I, th I think it was the July cloth and paper subscription box. So there were client request pages and then there were project pages. And I'm going to pull out a healthy stack of the project pages and throw those into the content section. This is where I'm just gonna brain dump future ideas for EJ Joyful Plans. That's content related. So content gets me to the project section. And for notes, I have a lot of different types of note paper. But I think my favorite is going to be the Cornell notes. These are from Jane's Agenda. So I'm gonna grab a good chunk of these. And Jane's Agenda's paper is really good. It is very thick. It has a nice uh, mix between like grit and slip. Some paper is too slippery for my liking. 
this is a nice in-between. So we're gonna add this to the notes section. It's kind of hard to do this with ooh, discs on discs on discs. Okay, so notes, and then Maya sent me all kinds of different types of note papers to, to sample. So here is some from, oh yeah, from cloth and paper. So it's got subject and notes. So I'll grab some of these. And then uh, Jane's Agenda has similar paper as this. This is the dot grid, and then you can circle your um, day, month, and date subject up at the top. So I'm gonna grab some of those. So I'm just grabbing various types of note paper just to kind of fill things in and I'll just use whatever feels right to me in the moment. Okay, so let's do an assessment. So we've got today, which will take me to the currently. We've got my content or like project pages and then we have note pages. The other section that I wanted was a finance section. And when I was playing around with these divider tabs, I did uh, replace <laughs> the month of January's tab with a dollar sign so I could use it for finance. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this divider, the December divider, and I'm gonna throw it between content and notes down here. So let's see what that looks like. So the four sections I wanted was a calendar section, I wanted a notes section, I wanted a content and like ideas section, and then I wanted a finance section. And I wanted them all to have dividers. So calendar section can be today, content will be projects, notes will be my notes, and then I have this tab down here for it's got a dollar bill sign on it and that can take me to my finance section for my finance inserts i am using a couple of different items these i think were gifted to me from maya we have purchase trackers these are from cloth and paper so i want the purchase trackers and then there are wish list trackers as well those could be kind of fun. If I wanna just keep a log of like something I wanna purchase, I'm gonna go ahead and do the wish list trackers. And then I purchased myself these monthly admin calendar pages. These to me are a little ridiculous seeing them in the half letter because the boxes are so small. So I for sure had thought that this could be a one page at a glance, kind of like my happy planner, uh, monthly filler paper. I thought this could kind of scratch that itch in this size, but this is so small, it's almost a, it's almost a joke. But I think these monthly admin pages could be good for uh, income and affiliate tracking. So where I'm not necessarily writing in content, you know, information or uh, posts or videos, but I'm just putting in maybe dollar amounts. So that then would make these monthly admin pages finance pages for me. So it's one page per month. You have your grid up at the top for the month, tasks, important dates, and then for next month. And then the back is just graph paper for notes, which I think is really nice. So this will be for my income tracking. Then we have my purchase tracking and then just things I might want to purchase there. So those are the three inserts I'm going to use for the finance section. Move that guy out of the way. Make sure we're in our finance tab. And we'll start with the monthlies, purchase trackers, wish list trackers. So everything finance related will be in this uh, dollar bill section. I'm gonna add some decorative elements now so I can see how this is gonna fill out. I made a comment a while back about how I find it interesting that minimalist planners, call themselves minimalist planners, given how much stuff they layer upon layer upon layer and add to their planners. They might not add stickers like I do, they might not decorative date or like decorative plan, but y'all, there's nothing minimalist 
about minimalist planners who layer upon layer stuff. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna ride the wave since this is more of a minimalist planner for me. And I have so many beautiful dashboards. Let's go ahead and start playing with those. I love this insert from this, uh, Maya sent me this. It's just a credit card holder and it's got four slots. And is it necessary? No, but I kind of like that my sketch mark ruler fits in it. So I'm gonna pop this in, but I'm not sure I wanna pop it in the front. I might add it to the back. So for now, let's add it to the back. Okay. Then look at these gorgeous um, dashboards. I think I want to use this vellum. I think this vellum's really pretty. So we're basically, we're putting a cover on this planner. We're kind of protecting the calendar pages by adding these decorative elements. So I like this vellum. It says know when to pause, pivot, and persevere. I think this dashboard is gorgeous as well. Um, this is from, um, excuse me, Jane's Agenda. This is from Jane's Agenda. I gotta decide which style do I like more. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is so pretty. And let's flip through these. So again, these kind of more decorative dashboards are from Jane's Agenda. Some of these were in that mystery box unboxing that I did recently. I'll link that video down below so you can see more of Jane's Agenda stuff. This came from Maya. Maya sent me this. This is a cloth and paper inbox. It is like a really thick plastic or acetate. That might be nice to protect the vellum. So I'm gonna throw that down. Yeah, just to so that there's like a nice plastic cover over the vellum. It's really pretty. Let's see. Those are Jane's Agenda. Cloth and Paper. This was in a sub box from Cloth and Paper. Cloth and Paper. So you can kind of see kind of the styles are very different. Okay, these are, these are kind of fun but I'm not gonna throw the vellums in. Ooh, I like this notes, this notes vellum. I think Maya sent me this. So let's go to the notes tab and I'm just gonna put this here. So when I pull notes, it takes me to the notes page. Am I still in the frame, you guys see that? So that's kind of a nice thing to look at, but if I'm pulling from here, it opens to the vellum. Maybe I put another, see this is where minimalist planners aren't so minimalist. Maybe we add another decorative dashboard. Grab a cardboard, not cardboard, but like a hard cardstock dashboard to put underneath the vellum. So we'll pop this one down from Jane's Agenda. So now when I open up the notes tab, it takes me here. And I'm going to add a little paper clip. This is a Jane's Agenda paper clip. I'm just gonna add that here. Or maybe I'll add it down here so that when I go to the notes section, here, now let's add it up here because I feel like it's gonna snag. Because I wanna be able to pull my notes and then I like looking at this, but I do want to get straight to the note section. And so paper clipping the vellum and the cardstock together um, just helps me get there faster. So I'm going to do that for the notes. Dividers. Oh, and then I have stickers from Planner Kate that um, I thought I might use for social media. I punched those. And so let's put those in the back. How about behind here? So we've got some stickers to put in the back. And actually, going back to my accessory thing, I love this inbox. This is a hybrid dashboard from Jane's Agenda. It is thicker than a bookmark and a page finder. And it says inbox up at the top. 
I think I'm gonna put it up here in the back so that, uh, and because it's got such a big like grip or a big surface area, I can flip more easily all of the pages earlier in the planner to get to kind of my accessory type stuff. I wanna get a sense for, this to me feels really good. I don't know if I wanna add much more, so I might call it. I love the way this looks when I open it. I don't love what the minimalist planners do with all the layers in the front. They look beautiful, but it takes so long to get to where you need to go. So I'm going to clip all of the decorative elements together and have it finish on my current monthly page. So let's say I just put this here. So when I open up my planner and I wanna look at my monthly, I pull the Oli clip. If I wanna look at my weekly, I pull today. If I wanna pull content, my notes. If I want to look at, oh wait, I'm gonna move finance because that felt weird to me. Hold on. I'm going to pull out the money section. So all my top tabs are first. Yep. And then put the finance in here. And this might adjust over the coming weeks. I'm just testing it out. I'm not an expert on the half letter, but I gotta figure out what will work for me. So yeah, so we've got today, um, today content notes, uh, my finance section. And then if I pull the inbox, it takes me to the back where I have my stickers and um, my ruler. So I think that's gonna be it. But yeah, I like adding the Oli clip because I wanted to be able to quick pull to the monthly dashboard, but I wanted the today tab at the front to be for my weekly. So this is a great way to pull it all together. Okay, let's see what else I had in my classic. So I had some social media icons and oh, I could add another pocket folder too. These were from a, a cloth and paper sub box, cloth and paper sub box. Ooh, my sticky notes. Let's see what, what all will fit. Craft sticky notes. And then, hmm, I haven't used these at all. I guess I did a little bit there. Could throw these. Oh, and these also came in a sub box. I could add a pocket to the back. Let me see if I have one. I found them. Okay, these are the clear pockets that I have purchased from Amazon. Some of these planner shops that sell clear pockets for three, four bucks, something like that. I don't know, it's it's a lot. When you can buy a whole set, how many were in here? Uh, I don't know, maybe 30 of varying sizes for, I don't remember how much they cost, but definitely, I don't know, 50 cents, a dollar max, and they come in all different sizes. But I could very easily add some credit card type um, pockets. So we have this size. Those are gonna be too big. I could do this kind of mid-size in the back. I kind of like that. Okay, so it's just an adhesive back and they do come off if you want them to, so it's not permanent. And then maybe do one of these little mini ones. Where would we want it to go? Maybe right there. Just for a little extra, extra. So we just added two pockets. Let's see if I can fit all of these ones back here. Or will they double up? Maybe they would double up. Let's see. There's the ellipse. No, I don't think they'll fit next to each other. Not so much. 
but let's see how many I can fit without it feeling too much, feeling like too much. So we've got the cloth and paper ones, pretty flush with the back. Will this fit? Let's see. It will fit. And what we can also do actually is I'm gonna take this September card and really this would be better here instead of these guys. See, I actually could have put the pocket that way and then had it be side loading. Hmm. I kind of wish I had done that this way. You know what, guys? I'm going to do it. Let's see if I can lift this up. Yep. And then I'm going to do it like that. Heyo. And then it still works as a pocket folder. It's just a side loading. That's better. Do you guys like that better? Okay, I kind of want to stick some sticky notes here. Dare I? I also have like transparent sticky notes. Hmm. And some pretty colors. I wanted to add some of those. Let's add some. Let's add some of these. These are from Poi and Hun. They were in some Mr. Kits. I'm telling you guys, I when I shot my stash, my stash is made up of stuff I got in subs subscription and mystery boxes. It is what I do. Uh, I like looking for a good value and usually those kinds of boxes are excellent. Okay, I think we'll just do that. Is there anything else we need to do to make this happen? Is my half letter done? I think we're done, friends. All I need to do is add a pen and we're going to add my Unipin oil-based marking pen in the 01 because that will work on these transparent stickies. And we'll just throw my pen in and call it good. All right, friends. I think my half letter is done. It's done. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Um, I will check in with you guys as we get closer to the end of the year and we do like my lineup for 2023. We'll see if this makes the cut. I think it will, but we'll see. You'll have to watch back. Uh, watch that back in December. All right, friends, come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again and you want to see more decorative planning, you want to see how this turns out, uh, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.